guys, this is a video on some of the features of the Sina 20S as it relates to pairing with your phone, pairing it as a music device, and playing your music. Now I'm doing this because, frankly, the instructions that you receive with the unit, the printed instructions, you should immediately throw them out. And that is simply for the fact that they constantly change. Every time they pushed a firmware update, the features change how it functions changes, and they add new stuff. So the booklet is immediately outdated as soon as you open the box. You absolutely have to go to the website and view the current PDF user manual. That has all the current changes and additions for using your Cena units. I really don't know why they bother printing out the manuals myself. But talking about playing music, it's an important feature that a lot of people like to use on this 20S, on the SMH10 series, on any kind of comm system, it's going to have some type of music functionality built in. Now there's two ways to get music on the 20S. One is through a direct wire connection, which honestly hardly anybody is going to do these days. And two is through Bluetooth. Bluetooth works great. Most people are going to have a smartphone. And the smartphone has a lot of functionality into the 20S. I'm not going to talk about the phone features, because that, frankly, is going to depend on your exact setup. For my iPhone 6 here, there are multiple ways to take and make calls. You can program speed lists. You can control Siri. I mean, you can do a lot of things through the 20S. But today, I'm going to talk about using it for music. Now, there are a lot of different ways to get music via the controls. The 20S has a voice command system. Now, frankly, I don't find it works very well. I have an excellent mic setup. If you've seen my setup for putting it in a helmet, you know how I've got my mic mounted in here, and it works very, very well. It's clear, hardly any wind noise ever. You know, it just works great. But the voice command prompts, the, the response of the system to the voice commands, I don't find it works very well, especially once you're moving. If I'm sitting still, it seems to work better, but still not great. It doesn't pick up the first time. It doesn't pick up on things quickly. I end up having to repeat myself. You know, it's like that bad SNL. It's a funny. It's like the SNL skit for Google Glass. He's like, okay, Glass. Okay, Glass. Okay, Glass. Well, that's what I have to do with this stupid thing. Okay, Cena. Okay, Cena. Okay, Cena. And yes, by the way, the company is Cena, not Senna. I hear Senna all the time in videos. You know, it's, it's one thing to mispronounce it in a video, big deal. But when you're trying to activate a voice command and you have to say the company name, well, that becomes a little more important. It definitely responds to Cena much better than Senna. So if you're trying to get your voice commands working and you're saying, okay, Senna, that could be a big reason right there. So I don't tend to use the voice commands at all. Luckily, there are manual controls for everything. You don't have to use the voice commands. Now, there are, there are different, there are multiple manual commands to get your music playing. But I found some kind of weird things. I'm going to go over these so uh, you don't get as frustrated as I did trying to figure this stuff out, especially firmware to firmware. So as of right now, I'm on the latest firmware. I don't remember the version number, but it's March 2015. I don't think they're going to be pushing any new features out of this. They've already come out with the next model. I found that they don't tend to update their previous models past a certain point or to add new features to. So I don't expect this to really change dramatically from here on out. Anyway, the two basic ways from the 20S unit. You can use the manual, the manual way to get your voice commands going. Okay, this, this is kind of a hybrid. If you just want to do it voice command, what you would do to initiate the controls is to speak OK Cena into the mic, and it will say enter a command, and then you can speak whatever commands. That puts you into voice control mode. There is a manual way to enter voice control mode if you don't want to say OK Cena. For example, if you're on an intercom communication or you know a phone call or anything like that, and you don't want to say OK Cena, you can do this. First, let me turn the unit on here. Okay, now I got my, my phone is already on, Bluetooth, they're already paired, so it immediately connects to the phone. That always works perfectly. Now, to manually enter voice command mode, 
you have to tap the unit. And this is one of the features that changed completely after a certain firmware update. I think it was back in October or September like that. Here's how it currently works and has worked for the last several months. And you can turn the sensitivity of this up and down. I highly recommend you leave it on the lowest setting because turning it up, I was triggering this left and right, especially when I did this. Just flipping down the visor would vibrate things enough to make you to make it think that I wanted to enter voice command mode. So I've got it at the lowest sensitivity and this never triggers it. So the only other option is to turn this off. You have to tap the unit and it's very specific where and how you tap it. You have to experiment. I find it works best with flat fingers. If I'm tapping it with my fingertips or hard, it doesn't seem to register. Two slow taps just about a second apart right here on the unit, not on the jog dial, not on the helmet itself, not on the base, but right here on the flat flashing light part of the unit. If I tap, now it's probably not even going to work here on camera, but it's really tough and it seems to be a little inconsistent on the exact uh, timing. Hey, there we go. So you saw flat fingers, maybe half a second in between, and it's asking me to say a command. Now I'm in voice command mode. Okay, that's how I initiate voice command most of the time. If I'm alone, I might say, okay, Cena. But I, I really rarely, in there, if you don't say anything, it automatically cancels after I think it's five seconds. So that's the easiest way to get into voice command mode. Set your sensitivity on low, flat fingers, about a half second apart on the flat flashing light part of the receiver or transmitter. And there you go. All right, so now I'm in command mode. I can do any voice command out there, but talking about music, just saying the word music into the mic will start your music playing. Now, there's another way, if you don't want to use the voice commands, you can hold the jog dial for one second until you hear a couple beeps. All right, don't hold it longer than a couple sec longer than one second because that goes into intercom pairing mode. There are a lot of commands built into all of the controls and a lot of them are controlled by how long you're pressing something. A tap is different than one second is different than two seconds. They all do different things. Same with the phone button. So make sure that you read that online PDF and you understand exactly what every single combination of control does because it changes. <laughs> all right. So if I wanted to just start playing music, I don't want to bother with going into voice command mode and saying music. I can hold this for one second until it double beeps. And they say it should start playing, but notice, no music. All right, here's the caveat. If you do it that way, you have to have first done one of two things, either launch the music app on your phone, doesn't have to be playing, just has to have been launched, okay? Now, if I press this for one second, yeah, look at that, inconsistent again. <laughs> That's funny, because that worked the last time. Make sure I have music on here. Yep, I do. Let's try it again. Nope, still didn't work. Okay. Well, there's, there's a good example, because that did work the last time I tried it, just having it launched. Let's try initiating a song. Okay, now it's playing the song, but it's paused. Now let's see if it controls it. Okay, now it works. Holding it again for one second, we'll pause the song. Holding it down and rotating the jog dial one way or the other does previous and next tracks. Those are your manual music controls, same as using it here on the phone. Okay, and you can still control it here on the phone. So there, as you saw, if you want to initiate it through this, you have to have started to play a song first. Okay, now let's see if I can close the music app and see if it still initiates. Okay, it does. So, what that means is you have to have 
started to play a song in order for that to work. But here's the other weird thing. Let me reboot my phone real quick. So it's back to fresh. Okay, now we're back to a fresh boot, same as I was before. So we know this button won't work. And you know what, let me turn this off and on just to make sure it's paired. Here's a weird thing. If you use the voice controls, you don't have to have it already launched. It will do it no matter what. So again, fresh phone, we'll go into voice command and I'm gonna speak the word music into the mic, which will start playing the music. Same as holding this for one second. Music. There you go. So now it's playing the music without having to launch the voice, uh, without having to launch the music app or play a song. Fresh boot, nothing. Voice command will start playing your music. This will not until you have started to play a song at least once. So there you go. A little confusing, definitely frustrating for anybody not in the know. I know it took me a while to figure all the little idiosyncrasies out, but that's how you can easily, now that you know, enjoy some music through your Bluetooth connection to your 20S. Now, this may or may not be true on any other smartphone. Maybe the Android connection somehow works differently and this will activate the music no matter what on an Android phone. I don't know because I don't have an Android phone. So your results may vary. It also may be different on another iPhone. I don't think it is, but it may be. I know that the iPhone 4 and up has used the same music connection protocol. So I think all iPhone 4s and up are going to operate this way. But again, test it. Let me know in the comments. Let me know what phone you've got. And if this combination is true for your device, I'd love to know. All right, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the site. We'll see you next time.